Which bike system is better, the advanced DJI Avanox or the Bosch Active Line Plus? Today we will compare the performance, weight, battery life, assist modes, and connectivity features of both systems in detail. If you are looking for powerful torque for tackling steep hills or a reliable, smooth ride for daily commutes, this video will help to make an informed decision on the perfect e-bike system. So, let's see what features and benefits each system offers and how they differ from each other. When it comes to power, both systems seem great but in different ways. The DJI Avanox stands out with its maximum continuous torque of 105 newton meters. This means it would give a strong, consistent push, especially when tackling tough hills or rough terrain. On the other hand, the Bosch Active Line Plus offers up to 50 newton meters of torque. While this might seem less on paper, it's likely more than enough for everyday riding and light off-road adventures. It gives a smooth, natural feeling assist that doesn't overpower the rider's own pedaling. The Avanox system comes with a peak power of 850 watts, which would give an extra boost when needed most. In comparison, the Active Line Plus has a maximum power of 600 watts. Both systems comply with e-bike regulations by having a rated continuous output of 250 watts. However, the Avanox's power would be most noticeable when starting from a stop or climbing steep hills. The Active Line Plus, while not as powerful, likely still provides a welcome assist, particularly for maintaining a steady pace on long rides. When it comes to weight, both systems are impressively light, but the DJI Avanox takes the top place. Its drive unit weighs just 2.52 kilograms, which would make the whole bike feel more nimble and easier to move around. On the other hand, the Bosch Active Line Plus is also lightweight at about 3.2 kilograms. While slightly heavier than the Avanox, it's still one of the lightest systems in Bosch's lineup. We feel this weight difference wouldn't be very noticeable during regular riding, but might be felt when carrying the bike upstairs or loading it onto a bike rack. Both systems seem to integrate well with the bike's frame, which keeps the center of gravity low. This would help maintain good balance and handling, which would be appreciated when taking corners or navigating tight spaces. The Avanox system is impressive in its compact size. It's remarkably small for the power it provides, which allows bike manufacturers to design frames that look and feel more like traditional bikes. The Active Line Plus is also compact, but not quite to the same degree as the Avanox. Battery life and charging time are crucial factors for any e-bike system, and both the DJI Avanox and Bosch Active Line Plus offer great options. The DJI Avanox system gives a choice between a 600 watt hour and an 800 watt battery. The 800 watt hour battery is impressive, as it provides a range of up to 157 kilometers on a single charge. This would be great for long rides or multi-day trips, the 600 watt hour battery isn't far behind and gives a range of up to 117 kilometers. Bosch's Active Line Plus system typically comes with options for 300 watt hours to 500 watt hour batteries. While these capacities are lower than the Avinox's offerings, Bosch also provides a dual battery option that can provide up to 1000 watt hour. This flexibility allows riders to choose the right battery for their needs. When it comes to charging, the DJI Avinox really shines with its GAN-fast charging technology. The 800 watt hour battery can be charged from 0 to 75% in about 1.5 hours. This quick charging would be great, especially for long trips, with recharging during breaks. The Bosch system, while not as fast, still offers reliable charging. The exact charging time depends on the battery capacity and the charger used but it generally takes a few hours to fully charge. Both systems feature smart battery management to help extend the life of the batteries, which is a great feature for long-term value. Both the DJI Avanox and Bosch Active Line Plus have multiple assist modes, which give flexibility in how to ride. 
the DJI Avanox impresses with its five modes, which are Auto, Eco, Trail, Turbo, and Boost. The Auto mode seems particularly clever, using sensors to adjust the assistance based on the terrain and riding style. This would allow riders to focus on enjoying the ride without constantly switching modes. The Eco, Trail, and Turbo modes come with increasing levels of assistance. The Boost mode is a standout feature, which gives up to 30 seconds of maximum power for tackling the toughest climbs or obstacles. The Bosch Active Line Plus has a more traditional set of modes, which are Eco, Tour, Sport, and Turbo. While it doesn't have an auto-adjusting mode like the Avinox, the range of options seems sufficient for most riding situations. Both systems allow customization of the assist levels through their respective apps, which would be useful for customizing the ride to individual preferences. One feature that stands out on both systems is the Walk Assist mode, which helps push the bike up steep inclines when not riding. The Avinox system goes a step further with features like Auto Hold and Hill Start Assist, which would be really helpful in hilly areas. Both DJI and Bosch have their e-bike systems to keep up with the times. The DJI Avinox system features a 2-inch OLED touchscreen display that looks bright and easy to read, even in direct sunlight. It shows all the important ride data at a glance. It connects to smartphones via the Avinox app, allowing display customization, riding parameter adjustments, and even offering anti-theft features. The Avinox system also uses wireless Bluetooth controllers on the handlebars, which seems very convenient for changing modes without taking your hands off the grips. Bosch's Active Line Plus can be paired with various Bosch displays. While not as high-tech as the Avinox's touchscreen, these displays look clear and functional. The system also connects to smartphones via the eBike Flow app, allowing ride recording, settings adjustments, and navigation assistance. Both systems provide features like ride tracking and the ability to share data with fitness apps, which would be motivating and fun. The Avinox system goes a step further with its location tracking and movement alert features, which would give extra peace of mind when away from the bike. When it comes to availability, there are some significant differences between the two systems. The Bosch Active Line Plus has been around for a while and is widely available on many different bike brands and models. This provides a considerable amount of choice when searching for an electric bike, whether one is seeking a city commuter, a trekking bike, or a light trail bike. The DJI Avinox system, being newer to the market, isn't as widely available yet. As of now, it's mainly seen on the Amflo PL electric mountain bike. While this limits choices somewhat, it's exciting to think about the potential of this system on more bikes in the future. Considering the detailed comparisons, both the DJI Avinox and Bosch Active Line Plus systems have their own strengths. If you prioritize a lightweight design, high torque, and advanced features, the DJI Avinox system stands out with its impressive power, quick charging, and innovative assist modes. It's ideal for riders who want the latest technology and performance, especially for challenging terrains. However, the Bosch Active Line Plus is a solid, reliable choice, particularly for mountain biking and everyday use. It provides smooth assistance, flexibility with battery options, and widespread availability across various bike brands. Ultimately, the choice depends on your specific riding needs and preferences. Let us know if you have any further questions or would like to share your thoughts in the comments below.